Well, John Keister here with a message for those of you just getting out of college. Now, you know, one look at recent headlines tells a sad story. Today's graduates face tough job markets, slim pickings for new grads, graduates screwed, etc. <laughs> Not at all like the headlines when I graduated. Back then, they said things like, tons of high-paying jobs await even the dumbest graduates. <laughs> Alas, times have changed, so we at Almost Live would like to give you, the feisty, talented, yet doomed class of 95, some hints about the real world. Now, in just a few weeks, you'll be booted into the real world with the rest of us, and many of you have planned for this, but when you hit the street, some grim realities will set in. You don't have a record contract. You haven't been drafted by the, NDA, by the NBA. John F. Kennedy Jr. did not marry you. <laughs> Unfortunately, many of you don't have a plan B. So, listen up. Step one in getting a job is creating a powerful resume. Now, your resume is the first impression a prospective employer has of you. Make it a good one. Use positive words like motivated, achiever, team player. Avoid comments like loner, walking time bomb, or prone to chronic itchy rash. All right, a good resume will get you the job interview, and it's critical that you make a good impression. So follow these guidelines for an effective interview. Come in, Mr. Uh... All right, here's a tip. It's important to remember your name. Now, have it ready and say it with confidence. Oh, yeah, my name's Moffat, but my friends call me Mofo. Okay. <laughs> but don't start the interview by revealing your street name or flashing gang signs. Well, I'm pleased to meet you, so glad you could come. <laughs> okay, maintain eye contact, but don't maintain physical contact. Thank you. Oh, are there some questions you'd like to ask me about the position? Here's a chance to show you're on the ball. Uh, can I bring my doggy to work? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, what are you best at doing? Okay, here's a chance to sell yourself. Well, I can shoot beer out my nose about 20 feet. Hey, okay. and your main weakness. Okay, this is a chance to show your human side. Uh, I'm not real accurate around the toilet. <laughs> leave your last job. Okay, try to turn this into a positive. Like, you know, you wanted more of a challenge. Well, they finally called for backup security, and I didn't think it was too good idea to hold out any longer. <laughs> then what did you enjoy most about your last job? Okay, here you can show your positive side. Uh, free cake at office parties. Uh -huh. And what did you enjoy the least? Okay, be honest. They'll respect you for it. <laughs> Uh, definitely having to take orders from a woman. Okay. Those are the keys to an effective interview. But the path to true satisfaction lies in picking a job that best suits your interests. Now try to find the company that most fits your idea of the ideal work environment. Now take a look at these examples. Uh, I would enjoy working at a desk, then eating lunch when a bell rings, and then working some more. Okay, here's a perfect candidate for safe coinsurance. I want to work with my hands. Okay, he'd fit right in in the U.S. Senate. <laughs> All right, a natural for Tower Records. What a stupid question. Obviously, the Department of Motor Vehicles. I want to work in a corporate environment and get free Mountain Dew. Microsoft. I don't want to work. Boeing. All right, young people, we hope these tips have helped you and that you're able to find meaningful employment in your chosen field. But if, after a few weeks, you're still having trouble, don't worry. You can always be a lawyer with Rusty and Beaner's firm. Good luck, and we'll be right back.